guys, welcome back. Once again, we are at it, drinking some fantastic wine here at Ella Community Pharmacy. I'm Dr. Eric. And I'm Dr. Becca. And today, we are going to the Andes Mountains. We love going to this area. Yes, we do. Wine. We always yes. enjoy these. Yes. So, Argentina, uh, this one is really interesting because they are actually nestled at the highest point that they can be in the Andes Mountains and grow the grapes. Okay. Sounds pretty miserable as a worker because it's got to be cold up there, i got to imagine. But very interested in tasting the wine of the mountains. Yeah, so we've got a limited edition Malbec to celebrate National Malbec Week. That was yesterday. Sweet, and happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> So, although we're a day late on Malbec Day, we're still going to enjoy this and hopefully you can enjoy it this week as well. Yeah, yeah. So this one I am excited for because they actually describe the flavors as having blueberries in it. Oh. Which I don't think we've done a Malbec with blueberries. There's been a lot of like the current flavors and that type of thing. Yeah. This is blueberries as well as, and I'm sorry because I forgot what it was, plum. Plum. Which plum, I think, is a pretty standard flavor in a lot of Malbecs as well. Yeah, I think the only wine that we've really had that had that really nice blueberry taste was a red blend. So this will be... Yeah, yeah, the eruption. Yeah. The eruption, which I have to ap apologize to Michelle. It's the eruption that you wanted, not what I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. So, cheers. Oh yeah, it's, it smells like the region. I know that's gonna sound really weird, but it smells. Well, we've had so many wines from like the Argentina area that yeah. like they kind of tell that. Yeah, and the wood smell that is there is intense, like it is. a yummy intense. Yeah, it has a lot of aroma coming out. Yeah, it really does. I'm excited. Well, cheers. Interesting. The plum is extremely there. Now this is, we just opened this bottle, so it hasn't had time to breathe. Right, right. But, um, and then, so it definitely is tight, but the plum is intense on the back end finish. As we expect with. Yeah. The back. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Um, I would say that this one probably, I could see it combining really well with like your red meats. Okay. Um, vegetables, especially like mushrooms and stuff, like yeah. this is very much in line with uh, that taste profile. So if you're looking for a red meat with a vegetable side drink, this is it's exactly definitely up there. Yeah, kind of what the bottle explained there. So you're spot on. Probably with some cheese too. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Gotta always have cheese for you. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm I'm really struggling to find the blueberries. Maybe Just it'll a little, let it open up a little bit. Yeah, maybe when it opens. Right now, it's definitely very heavy plum. But, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to give this one... Mm, right now, where it's at a 7 out of 10. It'll probably be an 8 out of 10 once it opens up. Could move more. If I find that blueberry in there ever, it'll definitely move up. I love the taste of blueberry and wine. I think yeah. it usually comes out really well. Just not blueberry wine. Right, it's such like a unique like hint of flavor that like when it pops in, you're like, oh, this is yeah, exactly what I want. Exactly, yeah. it's refreshing. It's it's fun. I think it's really hard for winemakers to make blueberry stand out too. Probably like in a mix of you flavors. You don't ever do it. It's right. such like a subtle yeah. tone. Yeah. So what are you giving this? I'm probably going to go with a seven as well, just because like we read that, and I think I really wanted that flavor and it's just not quite there yet yeah. but maybe it'll open up maybe we needed to aerate it or something I don't know yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> so maybe once that flavor comes out we'll definitely bump up that rating but I mean overall like it's yeah it's what like, I expect I, I would not drink it yes it's yes perfect and mm. the cork is actually really cute to share me so you know it's just like that, that was cute. Nice. <laughs> I think I might be tasting the blueberry just a little bit. It's starting to come out. It's kind of a little bit. Okay. It's kind of fighting with the plum at the end. Okay. So. So the key is to open it, let it set, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Definitely. Good to know for next time. Cool. Well, other than that, everybody have a great week. Go out, grab them all back. You gotta enjoy it if you're a wine drinker. There's no point in having holidays if you're not celebrating them. Right. So, till next time. See you guys.